Have you been keeping abreast or have you noticed this trend that's happened of Westerners choosing to convert to Islam in adult life? Obviously, mm. you spent a lot of your mm. career criticizing Islam, and right. now we have, I don't want to accuse it of LARPing. These people very well right. may truly believe in the doctrine, but I mean, Andrew Tate Andrew is, Tate, yeah. is, is yeah. one of them. And, and downstream from that, there's on-street interviews with young British youths with mm. these um, Islamic scholars or, or, or imams or whatever, uh, converting them on the street. And they're, right. they're like yeah. they're doing, the, doing the thing on the on the street yeah. have you have you i haven't aware? i haven't seen those vox pop conversions but um i saw andrew tate's conversion um well i mean islam is just mimetically it's perfect for a, a specific audience you know it's um it's a, it's a explicitly macho religion right it's a no pussies religion right it's just a and it's, it's just, you know, it's a, uh, like w w with Christianity, you have to pretend. All pussies? To, yeah, well, you have to pretend to be happy to be losing for the longest time. And you're basically just waiting for Jesus to come back and rectify this gr grave injustice. Like you're, the meek shall inherit the earth. You're just, you know, it's, there's no putting this place right. We're not going to win until we really until we see you know Jesus arrive on cloud trailing clouds of glory. Um, so it's it's all going to be fucked up for the longest time, and there's no imperative that we really do anything. Really, like there's no expectation that we are going to win before anything good happens. I mean, I guess there, there's there's one Christian sect where they do have an expectation of of. Uh, of kind of winning, you know, a thousand a thousand years of of, of millennial glory until and, and and then Jesus comes. But for most Christians, it's just, it's it's a story of failure, and then they get to say, "Look, we were right." You know, Jesus. You know, Eat came back. Yeah, yeah. With Islam, there's an expectation that they're going to conquer the world, right? And there's an imperative to conquer the world. And for ser for serious Muslims, it's like you, know, you don't have to be impatient necessarily. You can take as long as you want, but. This is all we all know this is moving in one direction and you need to be a spiritual warrior and if you if you take this really far if you become a jihadist right you're an especially doctrinaire militant you know true believer well then you're a kind of spiritual James Bond I mean then it's like it's like you get to be Jocko and care about and know that you're going to go to paradise right like so you get all the tools like it's 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 the it's the first person shooter that literally you get all the good guns. Like it's not it's not this boring. I'm pretending to just uh, I'll, I'll turn the other cheek. You know, hit you know thank thank you, sir. Can I have another? Um, and you know where the it's it, it's it's a high T religion, right? And that's why a schmuck like Andrew Tate thinks it's he's had an you know a real insight people in embracing seeing, it. People are seeing it as a redress to. Women of the West who are, have been conned by feminism into believing that mm -hmm. these things are good for them—they're not good for them. We need, you know, no one's happy. Look at the divorce rates. Look at the sixty percent of U.S. teenage girls aged twelve to sixteen have regular or persistent feelings of hopelessness. Yeah, yeah. everyone's only fans pathologically fapping themselves into a. a early monster energy hole or whatever it is that they're doing right the answer is a return to something that's got a bit yeah. more lindy nature to it yeah well i mean that that's the claim that i want to deny i mean it, it's it's explicitly retrograde i mean it is regressive it is backward looking it is not uh, it is not using all of the good ideas we've, we've had in the meantime right it's like it's a disavowal of the present and the near present. I mean, the modernity. In in the case of Islam, it's a dis it's a disavowal of nearly fourteen hundred years of of wisdom and insight. Right? It's it's a it's a claim that in the seventh century, somebody was so smart and so wise and so prescient and so had so had his shit together that everything worth thinking about and talking about happened then. Right? So we should con confine ourselves to the products of that conversation. That's just, I mean, it's it's imbecilic on its face, right? And it's not to say, again, it's not to say there's nothing useful to come out of Islam, but whatever is useful, we can use, 
without believing that Muhammad was visited by the Archangel Gabriel and got and you know got the last you know download from the creator of the universe um it's just not this is not to deny any of the cultural problems that someone like Andrew Tate or I mean there's lots of people we've we've dragged into the conversation here but like all of these people who I've criticized to some degree Tate or RFK or or um, I mean you could add Elon to this I mean all these people are kind of living out the consequences of their dissatisfaction with the present on the public stage and winning a lot of followers as a result they just like they I, I you know they like the way these guys are complaining about the obvious excesses of the left for the most part in other news this episode is brought to you by Element. Element is the way that I have started my day every single morning for over three years now. It is the best hydration drink that I've ever found. There's no gluten, no fillers, no artificial junk, or any other BS. It tastes phenomenal. Their orange salt flavor is absolutely outstanding. It'll help to regulate your appetite. It'll curb cravings. It'll improve brain function. And it means that you don't need to have a coffee first thing in the morning. Your adenosine system that caffeine acts on isn't even active for the first 90 minutes of the day, but salt acts on your adrenal system and Element contains a science-backed electrolyte ratio of sodium, potassium, and magnesium. They also have a no BS, no questions asked refund policy where you can buy it 100% risk-free. And if you do not like it for any reason, they'll give you your money back and you don't even need to return the box. Head to drinklmnt.com slash modern wisdom to get a free sample pack of all eight flavors with your first box. That's drinklmnt.com slash modern wisdom.